Here's how to set up email forwarding for your Shopify domain. So in this video, I'm going to exactly show you how you can uh, set up your email forwarding for your Shopify store, uh, basically your Shopify domain. So yeah, watch this video till the end to exactly know how to e set up email forwarding. So if you don't know what email forwarding is, it's, be it's basically used for like emails for you like your uh, stuff that that you want like people to see uh let's say you you set up a uh, like a career email forwarding so p if people want to like join you they would send a, a email uh, by clicking the email forwarding option of yours and they would be able to send you a message to know that you want they will want to join you or something else so that's basically a email forwarding and people mostly uh, say that email uh, email uh, forwarding and email hosting are the same thing but they are wrong because email hosting and email forwarding are basically a two different types of thing because in email hosting services email hosting uh, services allows you to buy custom email addresses all right that's same as that but the different thing is that your customers will see the custom email address when you reply to them so you know email, email hosting as a different type of thing but uh, they both are kind of in same ways but uh, they have they're just different and people just say they're same but they are not same but yeah they they could be the same thing but yeah once you have like uh you get to know what the what they are so uh, i'm just gonna show you how you can set it up so first of all uh, as you can see that i'm in the main shopify dashboard and here right now that i'm just gonna uh, go ahead and go to settings once you go to settings and here you'll see the options of domains, all right? So once you get domains, as you can see that I have only one domain and that's my Shopify.com. So that's basically the domain that I got from Shopify, but email forwarding doesn't work for any domain ending in .myshopify.com. Keep in mind, guys, you have to buy a custom um, a domain uh, for your uh, for the email forwarding to work. Without that, you won't be able to get email forwarding, as you can see. That I have this, so just just buy a custom domain and get your uh, custom domain, uh, however you like it. So once you get it, all right, uh, you just you you will be able to get your domain, uh, all right. So you will be able to see the option of uh, your own domain right over here. So once you click on the domain. It will bring you to this tab on as you can see and in this picture right now that it has this domain type on the top and uh, it's saying yes email forwarding so, and uh, in the is uh, in the, below that you can see forwarding email and receiving email and what you have to do is basically press on add forwarding email all right so that's basically the way of adding your forwarding email all right so once you press on forwarding email it will bring up another uh, tab as you can see right now that add forwarding email address so add forwarding email address in here you will you will be able to see that um forwarding email address so you have to put in the forwarding email address uh, and in the end as you can see uh, i have it in it but in the end that's basically the add of your domain custom domain so you have basically to put in uh, your forwarding email all right so let's say you want to put in uh, something like careers or info just put just type in uh um, that for your email forwarding email address then uh, put in the receiving email address that you want to uh, receive the email addresses for like whatever like this uh, types of what you want so just put in basically the uh, your receiving email address and you'll be good to go and there you have set it up your uh, email forwarding but there are more things that I want to talk about so the first of all that once you set up your uh, email address but yeah as you can see right now that in here in domains that it says buy or connect a domain secure the perfect domain for your store i told you earlier that you need a domain and you you know that why i told you because you need to have a custom domain without that you won't be able to do that and as you can see you have to search domain all right so once you have like set up your domain it will it will, it will just show up right over here and i exactly taught you how you can do that but yeah once you do that, you have to test your uh, forwarding email. So how do you test that? It's an easy way on how you can test that. So just go ahead and uh, just uh, basically just go ahead and uh, go for an account that uh, that isn't linked for your uh, custom email or at or custom in Gmail or email or whatever. Just go there. All right. Once you go in there, just uh, start compose. Once you press on compose, just type in two. Remember the receiving email address that you had. Uh, that you had to put on just put in the email address at example dot email 
gmail.com, all right? Example gmail.com. So you have and uh, you have to put in the Gmail test and you have to type in like whatever you would. So just basically uh, is the checking that you want to check. So just press send. Once you press send, uh, all right, once you press send, it will just basically show up uh, in your uh, the account that you're using uh, in basically your Gmail that you got a email. But uh, right now I don't have any uh, custom email or I cannot pay for a custom email. But you know, once you have your own custom email or domain, you just basically have to put it in. And once you put it in, you j it's basically cake after that. It's basically, uh, uh, you could just basically use uh, add more and you will just get more and there what there's like one more uh feature that i like about email forwarding is that i can add as many as i want like i as many as forwarding email like i want to like one for like careers and second one for my info so let's say you want uh, like different types of like stuff let's say one for like your um uh, people that you want to want information about your uh, shopify store or your information uh, information about your career that you want to join and um, information about payouts information about anything that you want you could just basically put in uh, in right over here and they would be there will be different types of email forwarding you would get emails from different types of people and different types of genres so i hope you got the idea of it but yeah you basically the setting the signing up method is pretty easy as I told you earlier that you just basically have to have a Shopify account. Just remember that it, it should not be on trial. You just have to basically have a plan. Without a plan, you will it will you won't. There's no like um uh, like method or like time you wasting. It's basically time wasting wasting. Uh, if you like you are using for three days and domains are pretty much expensive nowadays. So you have to like pay for domain and just get a uh, an account for it. So once you get the account, just basically go ahead and go to your domains and here you will see the uh, your main custom domain and you'll be able to do your work with it. So I think that's the easiest method that on internet and uh, people are like mostly like they say that it's very hard, but it's not that hard guys. Trust me, you just basically have to have a domain for that and you could just be get domains from like google domains or maybe godaddy and there are like third party more so yeah i think that that's it for this video and i hope you found this video helpful so guys make sure you drop a like on under this video and subscribe to my channel for more content like this and um yeah i hope this video is helpful to you until then goodbye and peace out